Hello and welcome back to SnowRunner, I'm MG Haggis, we're in Scandinavia on Season 11. We're still in the Voron, in the middle of the By the Lake map, I'll show you where we're at just right off the bat. We're still at this repair hub, I just dropped off the two vehicle spare parts, they're both here stacked on top of each other, but I don't think we're ever going to need them unless it's in a task that I haven't found yet. I went through all the contracts and nothing else requires vehicle spare parts, so hey ho, it is what it is. And then I've just driven round the corner of the building only because I saw the four metal rolls here and I thought, oh, are they given to us? Because it was greyed out initially, like here. But no, they're just aesthetics. So I've just driven to the corner because what we're going to do is going to head a little bit further west to this northern area because that is where a rail section for disrupted supplies needs to be dropped off. I did have a comment uh, directed towards another uh, subscriber about having problems getting the rail sections or the task to complete. Um, I believe they did it maybe the, the northern section or the drop off at the northern area first and then the southern and it didn't register. But we're going to give it a go. It might be bugged, but again, if it bugs for me, then at least you guys will know that it's a bugged task or contract as is. So we're going to try that, but we're going to drive up here just to uncover this area, make sure that road isn't blocked or anything, and we can reach the drop-off. The two rail sections, we'll have to, I'll do a jump cut. I have to drive all the way back down to here to pick up the two rail sections. And I believe, unless it's been changed, there should be five slots. And we've got a six-slot trailer. So again, no problem. So we have to start with the, the southern one. That's the top one there. So that's a quick one around the top, drop-off, and then back for the second one. And then we drop off here, hopefully complete. Still got the Land Rover over here. That's for when we go a wee bit more expl exploration up to the northeast direction. We can do that, hopefully, at the end of this contract. And that's about where we're at. So, the sun is now finally up. I think we should just wake him up and get on the move. Nice, and we are going straight to that exit. And this is a good opportunity for me to give a shout out to my latest subscriber, which is 78 Checkmate. So, 78 Checkmate, thank you very much. Much appreciated. I hope you're enjoying the Season 11 Scandinavia maps as much as me. Oh, I did say about a road close. Okay, no, no, I think that one might. Is that open? Oh, there's a trailer there. Um, it's a detour. Okay, well, you know, that's why you got to check these things out. Yeah, I don't know if you can go through there. Okay, let's go by the railway line. Nothing coming. I wonder if you can... Oh, there's a drop-off. It's not actually... I thought it was like a maybe a industrial area but it's just right along the tracks because that answers that there's a wee roadie going off there and the main road continues all the way through okay but we can easily get to that drop off we've got a crane hopefully that crane's strong enough so we need to back it up now and get turned and head back towards the the rail section pickup point so i think what we'll do is I'll just get us turned and then I'll do a wee jump cut. Can I get my trailer to hop across the tracks? Then it goes. Keep going. A little bit more. One more. Come on. It's not like crossing tracks. Can't fault it. Right. Done. And once we get this task done, if it works and doesn't bug out, It'll get us to move on to the one that unlocks from this disrupted supplies. So, a uh, quick look at the map just to see if there's anything else. Yeah, there's that cyber trailer with two. Is that? I don't know what that symbol's for. I can't remember. It can be a couple of things. Oh, no, it looks empty. Maybe it's just an empty one. But right, yeah, could be empty. And then that road continues round. Okay. And there's a wee road there, maybe connect up with this one, or this one. 
Lots of exploration to be done still, which I'm looking forward to getting into again. Right, I'll do a jump cut and I'll bring you back when I'm about to compass this off-road scout fuel trailer again and we'll head to these rail section pickup point. Back in a sec. That didn't take long. Bounced off the bridge and picked up a little bit of suspension damage. You can see the flickering is still there. I haven't actually switched the game off since I uh, finished the last episode. I just left it kind of paused in the escape screen. I should have probably restarted to reset the tracks in the grass and mud. I am recording this in the afternoon of the last episode's recording. On, up we get. Okay, uh, again, I think with the rail I'm going to prepare by backing into that zone if I can. I was going to bounce across there. There we go. Right, rail. Is it? Well, at least I don't have to load it, but I will have to unload it. Rail section, yeah. I wonder if you could put one on top of the other. Loading platform, where's that? Down there. That'll save me coming back. Why wouldn't we give it? Yeah, let's give it a go. There it is. We'll test our crane out as well while we're at it, which is not a bad idea. I might need to detach the trailer though. This is fairly long. Gonna hit the building. Nope. Position so I can get past it. Where's the trailer going? He's past that building. Ain't got much room to play with here. Right, maybe there. Right. Legs out, crane mode. Let's go. It does feel a wee bit heavy. Don't hit the plane. You've hit the plane. Off the plane. Trying to swing it around using the boom of the crane to help bring it round. Oh, not that far, not that far. Back it up. Nice. I just need to unload it. That's only an extra bit of work, but it saves me coming back here. Right, restore the crane. Underneath, underneath the. Come on. Oh man. I got to. Um, no, I don't have active suspension. I was going to try and see if I could drop it down. Next option, back in crane mode. I don't want to push it so far that it ends up falling over. I'll just lift the trailer up. Crane mode and restore. Right, let's go and get this delivered. But at least attempt to. Let's hope it's not bugged out because that will be a bit frustrating.
And I'm gonna grab some fuel. What would we put it there for? How much have we got? We've got 500 on the roof rack. Oh, plenty. I forgot the roof rack carried that much. So much easier when you got the bridge open this contract. And I'm gonna have to leave room for reversing back out, so let's take it nice and wide. I'll try to pull it out with the un keeping the cab attached to the trailer just to see if it'll work. Activate the anchors, back in the crane. The bandit crane is quite long. Oh, that might work. Yes. It's a nice little bonus. Up it down as I raise it up so it doesn't hit. Oh, it did catch. Oh, well, right. Hopefully it'll still count. Where do you need to go? All wibbly wobbly. Right, in you go, down. That's gonna count. Oh, don't tell me it. I never noticed if it was cargo management. Right, okay, if it is, then I need to put that back in the trailer. Okay, cancel the crane mode. Hmm. I'm not getting any management. Let's put my anchors away. Oh, that's definitely not an option because normally you'd see it here to switch it from crane mode. Call me old fashioned, but that rail section is definitely where it needs to be. Why is that not registering? And that's me doing the southern one first. So, John, who had left the comment, Luke could be right about it being bugged. Anchors out, crane mode. We're in the bridge. Any part of this that needs to be dropped off specifically. Nope, that's not registering it. Just trying different locations. Go on, take it. Oh, it's definitely not having it. Right, quick check of the contract, right? Rail section one to the southern. Well, that's exactly where I am because another one's over here. So I'm doing the first one first. Truck with the crane is recommended. Yep, that's what I've got. And it's just one thing it dropped here. So if you've come across this and you have a solution, please let me know because everybody else will have 
and benefit from it too or it's going to be in the bug reports of Saber Interactive that's a pain because I need to get on to the next one I want you take it Sometimes when it was in a trailer and it was too high up in the load bed, it wouldn't register things. I think I've seen that before. Whereas you had to then unload it and put it down at ground level. It's definitely not doing it. And it can be as simple as spinning it around 180 degrees, is it? At this stage I'm willing to try anything. Let's stick it out the way and up. Time to spin it around, probably. Spin it far enough away that it'll spin all the way around. Uh, pass the time of yourselves, guys, as well. This takes ages. Let go of the boom. Hey. No, that's not working either. It was worth a go. It could be something as silly as that with these things. How did this get through quality control is my next question. Did nobody try and complete this? It is flat on the ground and I'm going to release it. Yep, that did nothing. Right, I'm going to leave it there. And we'll come back to that. Let's go up. The other one dropped off. See if that works. See if we figure out any sort of connection. A train mode. Restore. Oh, Julia. Only accepted on the first blood moon of the new year and a sunny day. Somehow you'll get sunny day and it's night time. Anyway, yep, not working. I honestly do wonder sometimes with Saber Interactive how the amount of feedback the had over all the seasons of releasing stuff with bugs of this nature that they don't just try and get everything fixed before releasing the content I mean it's not like I'm trying to drop this rail section off in a peculiar way I wonder if the down arrow the HUD arrow will appear for the drop off of this one yes it does I mean it wouldn't have to be on like a a low boy trailer or maybe I had to get the trailer further into the zone with it packed that could be another one 
Hmm. Let's get to this one and we'll test that theory out. So if it's in a low boy and it has to be low to the ground, then yeah, that could be an issue with this trailer being a lot higher up. That would be frustrating if they don't say it has to be a specific trailer that this rail section has to be on. Yeah, definitely nothing in that little trailer there. Well, right. I'm ca oh cargo management. Why have we got that now and we didn't have that before? I can't drop off. No cargo in the zone. So let's drive forwards then. How about now? Well, the arrows appeared, but the cargo management's disappeared. Right, that's it just appeared again. No cargo in the zone. Manual loading is required. Well, it'll be manual unloading would be closer. Right, okay. Let's tr Let's try it. Let's un unpack it and drop it in here and see if cargo management will then accept it now that it'll be in the zone. So, unpack train mode. So maybe with that other one in the zone, I just need to find the bit that says cargo management. I'll drop that right down there. Looks pretty good. Drop that. Store the train. Cargo management. One available. Done. Okay. I think what I'll do is I'm going to do a wee jump cut here and I'll get drive back to the other zone just to test to see. It clearly registered it when it was on the ground. Go on, get across there. Yeah, it registered when it was on the ground. I just have to find the cargo management screen if it exists. It might be bugged out that that is missing. And if it is, then there's not much we can do about it. Right, jump cut time, and I'll see you back at the other rail section again. Right, here we are back. Fingers crossed, everyone. Fingers crossed already in the zone. Let's try the other side of the tracks to see if it's maybe on that side. Just looking for a cargo management pop-up. No, it's not here. You can't drop it or can't... Oh, there is, there is, there is. How peculiar. I don't know if it's because I've got the cab closer to the rail. But it certainly wasn't when I had the wheels in this way. So let's, <clears throat> let's do a bit of... Now we know it exists, I'm going to drive away from the rail. It's still there. Oh, there it goes. It's gone again. So what caused it to appear? cab. I can only assume it's the cab on this side getting close to the rail, so maybe it's just round about here somewhere. But let's do it. There we go. We have success. Now that the station should be able to handle any incoming trains, great job. The film studio will be happy that work can resume. Yes, and we got 7,000 in cash, 840 XP, 
but more importantly, we can continue with the next task or contract as it is. Back out off the rail tracks in case something comes through. I don't know where we're going with this guy next. So I'm just going to park him here just now. But effectively, not that you need to because we've got the bridge open, but effectively you could drive over that if you really wanted to. You know, for a wee bit of an adventure. So that's that done. Now, I thought that has gone kind of well. We're not doing a traffic accident, so let's get rid of that. We do know that we can get... Th Where's the cement? Um, contracts. And the next one was... Collecting waste, which is unlocked now. For warehouse access. Now, I was going through the contracts. Now, notice that this one is on this side. This recycling point or plant is on this side. If I activate it, not that it matters, but don't know if where the access, the warehouse access really is in this zone. But I notice another one. Where was the other contract? It's collecting waste. And there's another waste one. Recycling waste. And there's another point on the other side. Which also gives warehouse access. So that's possibly two points for warehouses. So I need to bear that in mind. But this one is blocked by renewing the cycle, collecting waste and a finishing touch. So, I'll need to have a think about how we're going to do that logistically. Uh, if we're bringing stuff through from the other map, or if it's all available here, not sure. Garbage. Don't know, because it's all locked. We don't know. There's garbage. Oh. Why didn't it swing around to show me where it was? There's garbage. Oh, that's the two garbage there. Okay, click on that, does nothing. Look about the map. But, right, we're going to come back to that at a future episode. I thought we'd continue our exploration in the Land Rover and head up north, wherever this road leads, basically. But I'm rather pleased we got that railway done. That was a bit of a concern. We're going up there, are we? Right, we are fully fueled. Little bit of damage, but nothing to worry about. There's a road. Right, hold on a sec. I need to look at the map again. Where am I in relation to everything? Well, I'm facing the wrong way for starters. We need to go that way. That's better. Nothing worse than going off in the completely wrong direction. That's just never going to get you where you want to be. It like I stole it. Oh, big stone there. I thought that was mud. Sorry, Land Rover. Off the tree. Right, what's this going to be like? Muddy to start with, for sure. Across the road, don't want to go over that tree really. Zigzag backwards and forwards around these trees that are blocking our way. Where's this road leading us? Oh, well, there's a junction. No, it's not. I thought it was the shadows of the trees. I thought that was a road going up there to the left, but it's not. Ideally, we want a road going up to the right to that watchtower that's somewhere up there. And this road is leading in the right way now. In fact, there's a junction. Right. Two secs. Where is the watchtower? There it is there. And this road carries on up. Right, well, let's... let's oh, there's a wee road there. Oh, who did, who spotted that road? I didn't. That might be the... That might be the one that takes us to the watchtower. It's a little twisty 
Anyway, it doesn't matter. We're out exploring. Let's continue to here and then up to there and see where that road goes. Going to give us a good view, that's for sure. We may actually be able to see the road from this perspective as opposed to the map. Definitely climbing up still, so that's good. Three hundred and forty-five meters to there. I can see the watchtower now. This is promising. Getting into the nasty, oh, nastier snow. Right, hold on. It's on the right hand side of this ridge, but this road. Can't tell if that's it there. Right, we'll just continue. If you end up back to heading south, so be it. I just want to get the watchtower in this episode if I can. Oh, yeah, get some air. Okay, there's tracks down that way. That's always a concern. Where does that go? I never saw them before. Oh, so that's that wee road. Okay, so we didn't make a wrong decision there. So we just need to carry on, I think. And hopefully this road here will twist around and join this one. We are about to find out. that waypoint and there's a junction with well, a yellow box what's this all about new objective eastern landfall site okay gaining nothing right if you'd like to drive down a decent road help me clear the rubble first i'll be generous with your pay 3050 360 xp oh so it's that rubble there except was that, i was looking way beyond that I saw tracks. Hold on. Or did I see tracks? Am I just seeing things again? Yeah, that's not tracks anywhere up there. Hmm. Yeah, I don't fancy climbing those rocks. But to clear these, let's... Well, we're not doing collecting waste, so let's just activate that and see what it involves. One metal beam. And we'll squeeze round this side. One metal beam's not too bad, but currently there's none in this map, I don't believe. We're heading well away of that watchtower. Come on, give me a road to the right. That's super snow, that. Well, it's bad snow. Maybe not super snow. I see tracks there. That's got to be it. And it is. It is. There may be an alternative route up, if you're brave enough. Or, in my case, stupid enough. But that's our road. Excellent. Let's do it. Finally. And this is the only one that's available just to drive up and open. There's two more that require contracts to be completed to make them functioning. 
I don't even know where they are. I don't know where they're at just yet. Go ahead and the Land Rover. Really surprised they haven't given us any ice to contend with. I'm not complaining, he just throws another cat amongst the pigeons. Sweet. Job done. Launch. Observation. Ooh, we're in the building. Kind of disorientating. Have we been to that bit we just saw on the map? Which is over there. Engine off. Is that somewhere we have been? Yeah, that's where we started off. I was at the back of there and I went around this way, didn't I? That's exactly where I am. Okay, it just looks different from a way up here. Cracking view, what did we get? Right, Eastern Landfall site, yeah, we've done that. We know about that. A rare vehicle. A rare vehicle. Does that mean that's the other one? I can't tell, I can't even tell if that's big or small. It looks quite small. Ooh. And a log station. Short and medium logs. Okay, so where was I before? I was down here. So that's what that little road took us to, a log station. Right? Duly noted. And again, more roads that look like they'll link up over that way. That might go all the way around there. I'm making a lot of assumptions and more roads going off to the north. Right, tell you what, I'm going to call it an episode, guys. I hope you come back for the next one, because the next one's going to be interesting, because I'm going to go after that rare vehicle and see if that's the other new vehicle to Season 11. What I'll do is, in the meantime, I'll bring the Land Rover back down, and I'll bring it all the way back down to this junction, because we've just literally driven that, and then that last little section will do in the beginning of the next episode. Or maybe at some point during that ne next episode. I'll keep you hanging, maybe. I'll maybe do that later in the episode. We'll see. Guys, thank you so much for watching, spending the time with me. Thank you again to my latest subscriber, which is 78Checkmate. And you'll see me again soon. Bye for now.